I'm Derek White. I'm the Assistant Director of Regeneration at Preston City Council. So tell me, what precisely is going on with the Tithe Barn development at the moment? Good question. Um, I'll try and keep my answer both concise and reasonably polite. We knew in the 1990s that Preston City Centre was uh, in need of some major renovation. Um, it was undershopped. Um, it didn't have enough shops and, off the, uh, and a wide enough range. Um, and from discussions with um, business and retail interests, um, Grosvenor Estates came forward with a proposal um, to do a major redevelopment using the City Council's land holdings uh, in Main Part. Um, now, to have a successful retail development, you need one or two um, big retailers which provide which are called anchor stores. Um, in, here in Preston, um, John Lewis partnership have offered to be one and Marks and Sparks have offered to be the other. Um, and the key thing here is that John Lewis is what we call a tier two um, retailer. Um, tier one is Harrods and Fortnum and Masons. Tier two is really uh, John Lewis. And then tier three is Debenhams and some of the other existing stores that we've got. So John Lewis are interested not in coming to Lancashire, or a location in Lancashire, they're interested in coming to Preston. Um, because Preston has the locational benefits that um, don't exist in other places. So um, if John Lewis um, doesn't come to Preston, they're not going to come to somewhere else in Lancashire. They're not coming to Lancaster, they're not coming to Blackpool, and they're not coming to Burnley or Blackburn. Um, now, the, once you've got those large retailers on board, then other partners and investors want to come in. Um, we're looking to redevelop about a third of the city centre um, and to do that we need to prove that the development is consistent, is in line with both the city council's own planning policy on a, uh, but also that of the regional uh, and national planning guidelines. That means that any proposals have had to be approved both by the city council's planning committee um, and then secondly, by the County Council's um, planning committee as being consistent with the regional planning guidance. Um, now, it's open to people to object to that. Um, we've had very few objections, um, but we have had um, some objections from um, Blackburn in particular, who have been very strong, one might even say virulent, in their objections. Uh, and to a lesser extent Blackpool, uh, who have been more modest in their um, uh, criticisms. Their concerns are really about whether an enhancement of the shopping offer in Preston would act to the detriment of their local shops uh, and their local retailers. Now, you can take different views about that. Um, most of the evidence that I've seen, and this includes the proofs of evidence put forward by colleagues in Blackpool and Blackburn, um, aren't really able to make that stand up as a realistic proposition. Um, and we hope that when we get to the planning inquiry, the inspector, um, which will, who, who has been appointed by the government to hear the case, will side with the City Council and the County Council and dismiss those objections. <laughs>